Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today is a hyper dip care and maintenance video for you. So if you remember, we hyper dipped our grill. We did this piece down here. We did these pieces. We have the side of the doors here. We have some trim on the back. We have all the trim around the windows. So my goal today is to get it as messed up as possible, covered in bugs. I've already shown you that you can power wash this. It's not coming off, but I get asked a lot about cleaning it. So we're gonna fill it up with bugs and I'm gonna show you how I clean it by hand to make sure it looks just as minty. If that's what the kids say, hopefully that resonates with you. But we wanna make it look as, as good as it does right now after a four hour road trip. So let's get on the road. Okay, stop quick for a bio break for the family. We got the bug guts accumulating here, making that front end nice and mucky. Fly trying to have a meal there. Well, let's get back on the road and see if we can double up these bugs. That is a beauty. Oh goodness, the that's, interior. That's, Look at the interior. That's my next wrap, doing it up. We made it to our destination. We hit some rain though, so it started to wash some of the bugs off. But you can still see it's pretty dirty. We'll get a lot dirtier, but I got my ice cream in hand. We're gonna explore what mother nature has provided us. So we're gonna go have our fun, but I'll be in touch with you soon and we'll uh, clean this up and see how it goes. All right guys, we are back at the house. We got the grill all covered in bug guts. We got a really gross uh, dragonfly stuck in there. Anyway, I've seen it dirtier, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I think this will work out well. Now you might be asking, why don't I just power wash it? Well, that's what I would typically do, and that would get off probably 80, 90%, and then I would hand wash the rest. But for the demonstration today, we are just going to do a hand wash. So I've got my water source here. I've got a older wash mitt. You can use a, a nicer one if you want, but that one will suffice for the grill. I got a brush here, just nylon. You can see it's well used. That's going to help to get some of the uh, tougher bugs off of there. And then I have three different soaps we could use. Uh, I'm only going to use one. I'm just going to use some regular car wash. So this is what I'll be using. You could use something like this where you could dilute it to different strengths. I would just recommend moderate cleaning. And then you can always use dish soap, but dish soap can dry out your rubbers and plastics. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're using it. Now what you do not want to use is a product like this. You do not want to use bug and tar remover. It's known to soften Plasti Dip. So it'll actually weaken the bond that that product has. And that's what you do not want to do. So any of these are fine. Bug and tar remover, not fine. So do not use this get rid of it. Okay, so uh, let's get cleaning. Okay, I'm going to use the brush just to demonstrate. I probably don't even need it, but uh, why not show you? Do a little of the vinyl while I'm at it. And I'm putting medium pressure on here, like putting a little bit of effort into it. Okay. 
You get all the bugs out of the logo there. And I'm being careful not to bump this hard plastic edge up against there. I'm just trying to get the bristles where I need them. We'll do the rest with the rag. And because I'm here, I'll do some of the vinyl and the headlights. Get this strip down here. I'm doing this with my left hand, which I'm right-handed, so if it looks kind of awkward, it's because it is. Now I'm not doing the best job. But you'll see, it'll be probably good enough. Now let's give it another rinse. Okay, so this is just after using the brush. As you can see, pretty much all the bug stuff is gone. I can feel a little bit, so I'm going to use the rag and give it a wipe. Again, left-handed, just to make it look awkward. Okay, let's rinse that off. Okay, I got a towel here. I'm just gonna wipe this off so you guys can inspect it. And you guys be the judge if you think Hyper Dip and Bugs are a problem or not. So, still gonna be wet in some spots. Right here, I'll get as close as I can, and you tell me. Once it dries up, it'll all look nice and even, but you can see, like, there's just moisture dots there. Once that dries up, it'll look normal. But there you go. That was a full day of driving, lots of insects, and you can wash it by hand. Well, there you have it. There's a hyper dip care maintenance demonstration for you. So I just washed it by hand using stuff most people would have available to them. And it turned out uh, very, very well. Like this was done last November. So it has been almost a year. Right now it's end of August. So what do you want to call it, nine months? but uh, it holds up just fine. But again, the application was done in low humidity, the right amount of coats, and the surface was prepped properly. So that's the best I can tell you. Those wheels were done with Plasti Dip back in 2016, and they look pretty good. So if you like today's video, you gotta hit that like button because that's what helps me make more content. So please hit that like button. And I wanna try and get 5,000 likes. That would be a record for me. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get it to 5,000. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.